What's going on, ladies and gents? Welcome back to a new video. It's your boy JNark, aka Cross World, and today we're back with video number 13, I believe. And this time we have the Los Angeles Chargers, and um, let's get right into it. We got Justin Herbert. We got upgrade, of course, because you know he won Offensive Rookie of the Year. Well, let's head into the offseason. So Chiefs beat the Buccaneers. We have a couple players ready to negotiate with. Um, let's first and foremost let's see if we even have the money for this. So Hunter Henry, we we'd be able to have the money. He actually went to the Patriots, but I want to see what players they have that we can uh, actually make some moves on. So first, we're gonna just resign all the guys we'd reasonably resign, like Sam Tavai. I feel like he would get resigned to the team, but just as a backup though. Yeah, and Stephen Anderson as a tight end, three-year deal. We like to play for a new team. Tyrod is definitely gone. And he was a captain as well. We have Dan Feeney here, who's going to be our backup center. Um, Isaac Rochelle, who will be a backup left end, of course. Tyrone Johnson. I like the receivers they, this, they, uh, that Justin, Justin Herbert had, so I want to see if we can keep them around. Um, we're going to give uh, Michael Bagley a, a deal back, a kicker. And Kalen Balaj, just $1.99 million, not too bad. Forrest Lamp, I want to keep him around. He's a star left guard, so we have to develop him nicely. So hopefully he stays. That's cool. Then we have Jalen Guyton, of course. I want to keep him around as well. He was looking pretty solid, so we keep him around. Nick Vigil, good depth onto the team, so it wouldn't be too bad to re-sign him as well. He would like to play for a new team, so we let him go. Denzel Perryman, he already knows the scheme, knows the defense, but he wants to test out free agency. Michael Davis, star potential corner, so we gotta see if we can re-sign him. We do. G Little Die, we're gonna let walk. Mike Pouncey, we're gonna let go. Melvin Ingram, asking for a lot of money, and he's not worth, in my opinion. We also have Hunter Henry here. If he doesn't re-sign, we'll just let him walk. Okay, so we re-signed Hunter Henry. So we got our number one tight end back, and so we're heading into the free agent. So we have 25 million available in free agency. We have a good amount of receivers. Quarterback, we have Herbert, so we're good there. Running back, we have Eckler, Justin Jackson. Fullback, we don't need one. Tight end, we just have Henry. We need a number two, and uh, a good number two would probably be like Jordan Akins, as he's a good scheme fit. So we can see if we can sign Jordan Akins onto the team. Left tackle, we just have Sam Tavai and Trey Pipkins. Russell Lacoon was a former um, left tackle for us, so we're gonna just have to leave that alone. Left guard, we just have Forrest Lamp. Um, I still want to develop Forrest Lamp. I still feel like he'll be really good for us as he's a star left guard. So I want to keep him around and just sign a backup for him. Center, we have two centers here, but we're going to need someone that's like actually valid. So we're going to sign Matt Skura to a deal. Matt Skura to a deal. Right guard, we have Trey Turner still. Right tackle, we have Bulaga. Left end, we have Bosa. D tag, we have Linville Joseph and Justin Jones. We'll keep them around. We have two good right ends in Ushena and Jerry Tillery, so we're good there. Duke Tranquil at left us at linebacker. Middle linebacker, we have just Kenneth Murray, and we just need that number two person, so that'll be Anthony Walker Jr. for us. Anthony Walker Jr. will be our number two. And our right outside, we don't really have anyone. And the scheme fit we're looking for is a power rusher for right outside linebacker, so that could be someone we draft as well. Cornerbacks, we still have Casey Hayward and Chris Harris Jr. So, but Desmond King used to be a charger. So let's see something, cause let's see how much, how much we would save. So Joey Bosa, we were just not removing him. Um, Casey Hayward Jr., we would save some money, and same thing with uh, Chris Harris Jr. So I feel like we could get rid of both of them. We could get rid of both of them, Casey Hayward and um, Chris Harris Jr. And then while we do that. We signed some uh we signed some players. And let's see for the right guard position as well, because I know Trey Turner is like getting pretty old as well. Trey Turner, yeah, we're gonna release him as well. I mean they did do this in real life, so I don't think it's too bad that we do that. So we make some cap and we still have some moves to make. Now we have 38 million available. Good. Quarters, we just have that Mike Davis kid now. JC Jackson is a free agent. We're gonna see if we can give him a good deal. I think he'll like to join us. He's a superstar corner. I don't think he'd be too bad to join us. So we're number one leading there. And then for you, for another corner, probably just sign someone like Sidney Jones, the fourth. Wouldn't be too bad to sign. Just to make sure that position is solidified. And that D tackle. Still have Linville Joseph. But well, we're going to need a right guard. And Trey Turner is available, obviously. But we're going to go with Brian Winters. 
will provide some relief at that position until um we either draft a guard that's uh that helps us out okay so jc jackson rejected our offer but we got every other position so we still need to go for a corner here see who's available because jc jackson just hates us for some reason and he left so we're gonna try desmond king again get him back onto the team he used to play for us so i don't think it'd be too bad to get him back and then we should be good at that position and then we're gonna just scout the college so we ended up getting desmond king back to the chargers so we have that corner back back and so this is what the team looks like after after the draft after the free agency so after the free agency the team the team looks pretty solid i'd say um we have a pretty good looking team and defense we just have a couple positions that we have to take care of but nonetheless it looks pretty solid if you ask me and um, we just need to sign like a backup corner yeah backup corner wouldn't hurt and maybe a second d tackle as well yeah backup corner and a second d tackle back of corner second D tackle and a safety and then we should be pretty solid all right ladies and gents we are into the draft now we have the 13th pick in the draft Niners drafted Patrick Sertain with their pick and with the players we have available left to us damn I wanted to draft that offensive lineman I really did so with the players we have left for us Realistically, what would the Chargers go for? I mean, they did lose Gregory Gregory Rousseau. I mean, they lost Melvin Ingram to the draft. And so, I feel like a position they would go for is probably getting a D tackle. But he's a late first rounder. Hmm. Do they do they go with Gregory Rousseau to pair up with jo Joey Bosa and have that great rotation on the D line? I think it might be something they go after. Gregory Rousseau or Christian Barmore? Who, who would the Chargers go after? Because I don't even know. If, hold on. Let's find out if Lin, Linville Joseph is still on the team. So Linville Joseph is still on the team. So with that being said, we couldn't get the offensive lineman that we were trying to get after. We wanted the left tackle. So we're going to have to wait till the second round to get a left tackle. So what the so what the Chargers will do, they're going to go with the best player available. And that's going to be Gregory Rousseau, who they draft. 76 overall, right end. Draft him at number 13. That's who they go with to beef up that defense again. And, of course, we don't have that one position we were looking for. <laughs> we were trying to get uh, the left tackle, but I guess it's, uh, guess it's not in our favor. But we just drafted Wyatt Davis, right guard. And we're going to let the draft, uh, we're going to let the CPU finish the draft. So now let's look at the draft recap, see what we picked up. We ended up getting a receiver, Diami Brown, a cornerback, Israel Mukakamu. To Marion Terry, a right receiver, Alaric Jackson, a right tackle, a safety, and Marcelino Ball, and a left tackle, Matthew Monk. So we're advance to next week. And so the only position we're really lacking at is the left tackle position. And I honestly feel like we couldn't, we should have traded up to see if we could draft someone. But the guard positions I'm okay with. Yeah, so that's the only that's the only problem. We just the left tackle position is our huge weakness. And um, they have Gregory Rousseau playing at left end for some reason when he's a right end. Our D-line is stacked with players. So what I, what I want to do is trade away Ushanu Nuosu. Probably trade him away for a left tackle. Because we need tackles on the team. And it's not looking like we're going to... It's not looking like we're going to get it from anywhere else. So we have a lot of D-tackles on this team. Jerry Tillery and Ushanu Nuosu are 24 each. But we're going to get rid of Ushanu Nuosu. We need a left tackle or right tackle. It's going to be our first trade that we ever really do <laughs> on, a, on these re realistic rebuilds. So so the Bengals ended up drafting with Sean Slater, and they have Jonah Williams. So realistically, we would trade for Jonah Williams, get that position. We get him. So now we have the left tackle situation sorted out. Excuse me. I don't know if that's really realistic, but I'm going to assume that it is. I'm going to assume that it is, that it's fine to go doing something like that. So... I guess it's okay. But our receivers are good nonetheless. Tight end is good. Left tackle, we now have Jonah Williams, who's going to help protect our left side. We have um, we have Brian Winters starting at left guard. Masker starting at center. Right guard, we have Wyatt Davis. And right tackle, we have Brian Mulaga. And we also have Joey Bosa. Right end, we need to put uh, Gregory Rousseau starting. 
and put Jerry Tillery backing him up in that left end. We're just going to put um, Jerry Tillery to back up as well, and that should be good. We didn't end up getting anyone for the linebacker position, which I just thought about just now. But we have Kaiser White, who's going to play at that side. Cornerbacks, we have Desmond King, Sidney Jones, and Michael Davis. So they're going to have to battle it out and help us out. We have Nazir Alderley at free safety. And at strong safety, we have Derwin James and Eric Reed. So we should be good nonetheless. And um, I think we, we should be pretty solid. So I'm going to step to the playoffs and let's see how we do. Okay, so we didn't make the playoffs. We ended up going 8-8. Eight and eight. So tough, tough division. Chiefs went 12-4. Raiders went 12-8-8. Eight and eight. Broncos went 8-8. Eight and eight, We went 8-8. Eight and eight. So pretty good year so far for us. Um, we didn't make the playoffs, of course, but we didn't have a losing season, which is good to see. Let's see how we did statistically. Our offense was 27th, while our defense was um, 32nd. We had the worst defense. Justin Herbert had 34 touchdowns, 9 picks. Austin Eckler had 840 yards, 8 TDs. Keenan Allen had 10 TDs and 1,000 yards. Pretty nice. In defense, we didn't do too well. Gregory Russo had 7 sacks, led the team. Joey Bosa only had 2.5, which is really weird. Um... Desmond King had five picks. We had a good amount of interceptions for the defense, but we had the worst defense for some reason. So we know what we have to address there. But um, let's send to the Super Bowl. Browns beat the Bears in the Super Bowl. Let's look at the 2021 season recap. Baker won MVP and just won the Super Bowl. Coach of the year went to the Bengals. Coach, offensive player of the year went to Tom Brady. Offensive rookie of the year went to Zach Wilson. Defensive rookie of the year went to Caleb Farley. And defensive player of the year went to Kilo Mack. So the, the, the MVP versus defense player of the year played against each other in the Super Bowl. Pretty interesting to see. We have 17 players ready to negotiate. We have Derwin James, who deserves a huge, huge contract from us, as um, he's our guy at strong safety. So we got to get him back onto the team. Linville Joseph, we're going to let walk. Mike Williams, I like you a lot. So we're going to re sign you as well. Pretty good receiver. Get him back. Justin Jones is a good depth D tackle. So let me see if we can get him back onto the team. We do. Brian Winters, we're going to let go. Justin Jackson, we're going to let go. Forrest Lamp, I'm going to keep him around as well. He didn't get to really start, but this year he will be able to. Michael Basley, again, just just solid at kicker. That's really all I could say. We keep him back onto, onto the team. Kaiser White, we give him a little deal as well. Resign him. Lachlan Eckwards. Okay, all these guys here we're going to let walk. We're just going to make sure we keep our punter. We're just going to make sure we keep our punter, and that's what we do. So now the first week of free agency is here. We have 20 million, just about 20 million available. Let's look at the team really quick before we make some more of these transactions. So offense looks pretty solid. Dami Brown is a 78, so it's a pretty good draft pick from the looks of it. Pretty, pretty good draft pick. Um, offense looks pretty solid, I'd say. Brian Bulaga is getting old, so we're probably going to have to either trade or get rid of him. Greg Russo is a 78 at right end. And D-line, D D-line is something we still have to address as well. So we're going to have to do that. But let's see if we could get rid of Brian Bulaga. Brian Bulaga, we would save uh, about $7 million getting rid of him. So we're going to do that as he is getting old. So he gets to chase that one last big contract while we figure out how to get a new right tackle to help us out. Um, so they have Wyatt Teller, right guard, who's available. Very interesting to see. Um, right tackles that they have available. Orlando Brown Jr. That's a great right tackle to have. Let's see if we could sign him. Let's see if we could sign him and get, get some money. Get him onto the team. Right guard. We're, we're good at right guard, so we're just going to sign Mike Remmers to be backup. We just need to sign a backup just for uh, Wyatt Davis. And then at center, we have just Matt Skura still. Left guard, we have Force Lamp. But, um... There is Will Hernandez here, so I might just sign him. If he signs with us, that would be nice because uh, he's a pretty good one. And then tight end is good. Left end, we just have Bosa. So back in a Bosa should be, damn, Trent Murphy. But he's asking for like 7 mil. Give him like a three, 3 million deal to back up Bosa. D tackle, we definitely need some help there. So we're going to sign Bilal Nichols. Yeah, we're going to sign Bilal Nichols to the deal. And then I feel like what we should target in the draft is definitely a right outside linebacker. So let's see if we got these players. So we got Bilal Nichols, Will Hernandez, and Orlando Brown Jr. So we just upgraded immensely on the team. And um, let's advance one more week. And we also got the backup. So we're going to go right into the draft and see uh, what we pick up. We have the 13th pick again, two years in a row where we have the 13th pick in the draft. Let's advance the next user pick. So... Interesting enough, 
There is a right outside linebacker here in Braylon Darden. Or we could get the other positions that are looking pretty nice here. But we're going to go right outside linebacker. I feel like it's time that we address this position, and we do. 74 overall, speed rusher. He's going to be our guy at that right outside linebacker position to continue. Let's see what's available. Oh, okay, so we, we weren't able to scout the rest, so... We're going to let the draft handle it, but we did address the right outside linebacker position finally. If we look at the draft recap, so we end up getting a D tackle. That's good. A cornerback, a tight end, another right receiver. Yo, the Chargers know how to draft receivers. <laughs> a safety and a middle linebacker. Pretty solid, pretty solid if you ask me. So they advanced to the first week of the season. So we have an 84 offense and an 83 defense. We should be looking pretty, pretty nice. Um, offensive line looks pretty nice. I really like it. Our weapons are pretty good as well. And, um, excuse me, we have the rookie starting at right outside linebacker. So this should be a bounce back season for us, a really a, a good bounce back season for us. And, um, I have high hopes for us. I think we'll do pretty nice. I think we'll do pretty nice. So without further ado, let's into the playoffs and see how we do. So, damn, we went seven and nine. So the division was tough again, but we didn't make the playoffs again. Hmm, we're missing something. We're missing something. We're not doing too horrible, but we need to change something in order to make the playoffs. This next year, we have to. Our offense was 20th this time, and our defense was um 11th. So our, our defense did way better. Offense didn't do too well, though, as Justin Herbert only had 24 touchdowns and 13 picks. Austin Eckler only had 582 yards, so I think that's someone we're going to have to get rid of. But Keenan Allen had 1,200 yards. Diami Brown had 949. So our receivers did pretty well. Defense... Joey Bosa had 10 sacks. Bilal Nichols at four. Gregory Russo only had two, so that's a problem. We got a good amount of interceptions, but still wasn't enough for us to make the playoffs. So the Super Bowl, again, is the Bears versus the Browns. Nice. Let's see if the Bears can get their revenge. No, they lost again. <laughs> they lost again. MVP went to the Bears, Zach Wilson. Coach of the year went to Matt Rule. Uh, offensive of the year went to the Bears wide receiver, Tyler Jones. Defensive player of the year went to Vaughn Miller on the Buccaneers. And offense player went to Zach Wilson. And Brown's MVP was Super Bowl winner Cameron McGrone. So back to back, they both meet again. So those are the two powerhouses of this franchise. We have 18 players ready to negotiate. First and foremost, we got to get our left tackle back. Oh man, we don't even have any money. We don't have any money, but we have to get our left tackle back. We do that. And Jerry Tillery is a backup, so we're gonna give him this deal. Michael Davis is pretty solid. He's done. He's done pretty well. So we're gonna get him back on the team. Drew Tranquil has played pretty solid for us, so I'm not too mad with signing him. Nazir Alderley is our backup. I mean, is our starter free safety. So we're gonna get him back onto the team. Uh, Matt Skura. Not asking for too much. So he would like to play for a new team. So we gotta get a new center. Foreign Slamp is just regressing, so we're gonna get rid of him. The rest of these guys, we're not really too worried about. As uh, I know the draft will fill them out. And then we have Sidney Jones, the fourth. So he's asking for a pretty solid deal. I mean, he's played all right. So we're going to sign him. So we get him back onto the team. So we re-signed all the players that, that matter. Drew Tranquil, though, will also have to re-sign you as well. So we get him back. And everyone else, we're going to have to get rid of Austin Eckler as well. I really feel like moving on from him. Or we can honestly draft someone. We'll probably be able to draft someone. So um, let's see. Austin Eckler, we take like four million, get rid of, getting rid of him. So, I guess we'll have to do that because he hasn't, he hasn't lived up to expectations. So, he hasn't lived up to expectation. And Keenan Allen might be someone we have to get rid of soon because he is getting old. But nonetheless, he's still playing pretty solid. So, we're not gonna really focus on making that decision too soon. But um, let's see what free agent running backs they have. Stefan Tuit is a free agent. I did not know that. Running back, we just have Kelly and Bradwell. We could see if we could sign Kareem Hunt. But I also think we could sign just like, or we could honestly draft a running back. So we're not, I'm not going to worry too much about getting a free agent running back. But um, we don't have a center. So that's something, something that I didn't think about. We don't have a center. So Chase Rulier, we're going to see if we can sign him to a deal. Get a center. I think we'll be able to get backups. Oh, that Forbes kid that we drafted is an all-star, <laughs> all-star, superstar. It's pretty good, cool to see. Um, and Rodden's only 76, but he's still pretty solid. So we are getting that center, so we're good at the center position now. So we're gonna sim to the draft and see what we can do there. So let's see what players are available first for us. We're not getting a quarterback. Could go for a running back, could go for D tackle. We could always go for those positions. Um, players they have the first round that are scouted. I wouldn't wanna go with a running back in the first pick. 
in the first round at least. I just feel like that's like a little bit OD. But let's go by. I know they have running backs available. I know running backs will always be available. Um, receivers were good on that. Left tackle, left guard, center. We just drafted Chase Ruli or just signed Chase Rulier. So left end, right end, D tackle, left outside linebacker, middle linebacker, right outside linebacker. I feel like a corner wouldn't be too bad. Geo Aldridge, late first rounder though. Free safety, Brandon Pryor and Jarek Lane. Brandon Pryor is an early. F I mean, we could draft him. You know, let's draft him. Safety, good pick, rank number nine. Two, I definitely have number sixteen. Pretty interesting, right? Well, with our next pick, we're definitely going to running back, though. Yeah, we definitely got to go to running back for sure. We got Dion Re Reynaud, late first rounder. We're drafting him. He's a power back, 72 overall. So we're going to have to work with him being our starter. And then we're going to send to the end of the draft. Let's look at the draft recap now. So we end up getting those two players, and we got a center. We drafted that quarterback, Cameron Bolden, the left guard, the left end, and the right guard, Cody Peralta very interesting but hopefully this is the year that we bounce back i feel like this has to be it i mean we have an 83 offense 85 defense offensive line stars all across the board um tight end is good we don't really have our running back situation is actually not that good i didn't even realize that <laughs> our running back situation is not that good and then linebackers are pretty solid i'd say d line is pretty good too so it's like, we're just right there. We're right there. Like, I think I just need to sign a free agent running back just to, like, hold us out. Um, I'm trying to think, do I want Gus Edwards or Jamal Williams? You know, let's go with Gus Edwards. Sign Gus Edwards to a deal. So he can be our starter. Help out the team. But without further ado, let's send to the playoffs and see if we can finally do it. Damn, again. We went 7-9 and nine again. What do the Chargers have to do? We have to probably make a blockbuster move. There's no way that we keep finishing the same every single year. Offense was 26. Defense was what? 19th. So we were just middle of the pack again. Running back situation, not solid at all. Keenan Allen, though, playing pretty nice, but it's still not enough for the team. Greg Russo and Joey Bosa had eight sacks. We're still not getting enough pass rush. We got a good amount of interceptions. We're still not doing enough that we should be doing. Damn, like, hmm, this kind of bothers me now. The fact that we can't even touch the playoffs with this team. Everyone's regressing. Justin Herbert's in 89 now. Everyone went down on overall because we're just like, damn, yo, we can never make the playoffs, yo. We keep just being stuck. Like, damn, like, y'all damn right. This shit don't make sense. But Packers, Bengals at the Super Bowl this year. Very interesting to see until Joe Burrow gets his first ring. To get a 2023 season recap, Justin Fields won MVP on the Colts. Coach of the year went to Bengals. Zach Wilson won Offensive Player of the Year. Joshua Trainer Saints got Offensive Rookie of the Year. Bengals Hugo Umadi won <laughs> Super Bowl MVP. Okay. Deion Jones won um, Defensive Player of the Year. Interesting to see. So we got 17 players ready to negotiate. Desmond King was pretty solid. I don't know, but we got to get Justin Herbert. This is our quarterback. We got to get our quarterback. Yeah, boy. We get Justin Herbert back. Damn, this is a big year. All these guys that are on their contract year. Damn, this is a huge year for us. Kenneth Murray, contract year. Bilal Nichols, god damn, yo. We're gonna have to let him go. Sign someone cheaper. Uh, Will Hernandez, we gotta re-sign you. Justin Jones. He wants a one-year deal. He's just not interested in signing. Anthony Walker Jr. We got all these guys here who are just going to walk, which makes our life a little bit difficult for us. And Desmond King wants a one-year deal. We wouldn't be able to afford him either, so we're going to have to let him go as well because we did have to get our quarterback. So so we have some shit. We have some moves to make, yo. Some moves to make. I'm not getting rid of Joey Bosa. Probably going to have to get rid of Keenan Allen, though, because he is regressing. So, Keenan Allen, you've been great for us. You've been pretty solid. You had a great career with us. But we're going to have to get rid of you. We have to make that move, sadly. But we have to make moves for the team. And, yeah, he was going to be their biggest cap hit. Or biggest, yeah, biggest cap hit, honestly. So we do that. We give us ourselves $30 million available. Now we can go crazy and get a corner to help us out, like Charverius Ward. 
get Charberry Sword at one year deal. Free safety, we have Pryor, who's who's nice. Strong safety, we have Derwin James, of course, so we're chilling at that position. Rod Salamacher, we still have Darden, so we're cool there. We could just sign, sign someone on a cheap deal like Duke Elijah for, Ojayo for. And then middle linebacker, we just need a number two. And uh, Blake Martinez will be our number two, asking for just three million. Um, left that side linebacker is still Duke Tranquil. Right hand is still pretty good. D tackle, we just only have Forbes. So Derek Nadi, we're gonna have to sign you to a deal. Or Bilal Nichols, Derek Nadi wouldn't be too bad though. Let's see if we can get Derek Nadi. Left end Bosa, of course. Offensive line, pretty solid. I'm not even stressing it. Back of left tackle is not even that big of a deal. You could get Prince Tega Wanaho, wanna go. And then tight end is good. Receivers, I'm pretty happy with. Fullback, we're pretty solid at. And we only have one running back. But that's what it's looking like. <laughs> it's looking pretty rough because we only have one running back left. But we got the backups. We got Derek Nottie and DeAndre Swift rejected our offer. So, again, it's looking like we're going to have to see if we can either make a transaction with the team here or, or find someone to... Either we no, I don't think it'd be, I don't think it'd be smart to trade for someone. So there's this, hmm, Trayvon Grimes. He goes a million, but like, I mean, we could just trade him for a running back. I mean, I don't think that's that big of a deal. We have a crap ton of receivers who are pretty nice. So yeah, we have a lot of good receivers. So we could just trade Trayvon Grimes for a running back with like any team. No team wants him. Okay, that brings a problem. <laughs> that brings a problem. So we're gonna have to go give James Kelly up. No team is interested in James Kelly. All right, now we gotta try Tamorian Terry. Cause he's a 76, but everyone's interested in a 76. All right, nonetheless, we're gonna have to give up one of them just to get a running back. Michael Carter, we could try him. Just gotta see what's the best uh, running back available for us to try to go after. Um, Travis Etienne. I doubt this would work though. That would be a big trade though. We give up like a receiver and a third for Travis Etienne. That would be pretty solid. Travis was accepted, so we make that move. I mean, that's not a bad move, honestly. I think that's a pretty cool move. I think that's pretty solid. So let's finish to the next week. So we ended up giving up a receiver and a pick, a third round pick for. Travis Etienne to pair up with Justin Herbert. So now our running back situation is looking pretty solid now. Um, so, yeah, very interesting to see. But let's into the draft. So we have the fifth pick in the draft. Holy crap. We have the fifth pick in the draft. God damn. Uh, we don't need a cornerback. Or, or, yeah. Honestly, we could go to our first round pick being a corner. Nothing wrong with that to me. But everyone's a mid corner. Yeah, everyone's a mid or late. Damn. Let's go with scouted, right end, Devontae Penn, Demonte Clifford is an early first round tight end, Jay Gallery, D tackle, Cam Harrison is an early D tackle, I like that, I like that, he's an early D tackle, we're going to go with that, because I think we did lose some players, they're both earlies, so both of them are early, so we're going to go with the first one. Isaiah By Wow. Isaiah Byram, 79 overall. He's ranked number one in true value draft. I'm number five. Cool. So we got the best player in the draft. Nice. So let's send to the end of the draft and see what else we pick up. Okay. So looking at the draft recap again. So after getting him, we just reached for all of our players like the idiots we are. So that makes sense because uh, we're the freaking Chargers. <laughs> but um, we have to bounce back this year. This has to be the year we bounce back. I mean, like... The offense is pretty nice. We got Travis Etienne now. We got a good running back now. Jamie Brown has an, has an increased role now. Um, defense is pretty solid, I'd say. We got a very, very solid defense. We also did sign uh, Derek Nottie. So we have a great rotation on the D-line. A great rotation. So we just need a cornerback. We just need a cornerback and a tight end. A cornerback and a tight end. So Bryce Callahan, can we even afford him? 
Bryce Callahan, one year deal. Sure, why not? Let's go for it. Give us that veteran, that veteran presence. And we get a backup tight end to help out Hunter Henry so he's not getting targeted all the time. There's Zach Ertz, Gronk, Mo Alley Cox. I think honestly, let's go Zach Ertz. Gives us another receiver option that will get open. So we get him onto the team as well. So hopefully they can help us out. So without further ado, let's send to the playoffs and see if we can finally do Yeah. It's it's impossible for us to make the playoffs. It really is. It's impossible. The Madden hates Charger simulations. They really do. I mean, what more could I have done? Our offense was 24th again. I don't know if it's the quarterback problem. Our defense was what? 22nd. We end up always being in the middle of the pack. Travis Etienne at 725 yards. Like James Kelly at 995 yards. Defense. Byram had nine and a half sacks. Well, he went off. He went off. Joey Bosa only had four and a half again. Like our pass rushers aren't doing anything. Which is kind of bad for us, honestly. Not even kind of. That is Super Bowl is Texans Vikings. So you're telling me they dude. Like what more can what more can this team do? Like, this is a solid offense. Byron is a, a freaking goat. He had a shit ton of sacks, but just no one's just we're just not getting to the quarterback. <laughs> like we're just not getting to the quarterback at all. Joey Bosa is this huge player. You know what? You know what? We're gonna get rid of Joey Bosa. I mean, we're gonna let him go to the Niners. We're gonna let him go to the Niners. At this point, I don't care anymore. Jake Lund, I don't care. Travis Etienne, though, I think you're pretty solid, so I'm gonna sign you back. Diami Brown, you've been playing pretty well since you got drafted to us, so we get you back onto the team. We need we need Wyatt Davis. He's a pretty good right guard. Uh, Greg Russo, you've been pretty lackluster for us, I'd say. So I'm gonna have to let him walk. But Jerry Tillery, though, I want to keep you onto the team. I'm gonna see what you do with it. Nazir Alderly as a backup, you know your role. He thinks free agency will be better. Uh, Chase Rulier, we're gonna let go. Israel Mukakamu, him back. All these guys here, we're gonna let go as well. And yeah, I'm okay with doing that. We're also gonna release Joey Bosa. He just, he just has been regressing OD. Like, he hasn't done anything. So, I know you guys are going to hate that, but he wasn't doing anything for us. He really wasn't. Like, he wasn't getting no sacks, no pressures. Like, two, three years in a row, just like two sacks. Like, you're getting paid too much money for that. Too much money. But here we are, first week of free agency. We have $32 million available. Lots and lots of players are available because of us. But nonetheless, that's on them. Can't really do much about that. But the first position we want to go after is cornerback. Um, Rockison, we want to sign you to the team and give you a nice little deal, a nice little prove a deal, see if you're still uh, league worthy. And then we're also going to sign um, Caleb Farley to a great deal here as he's an 85 overall star corner. So we're going to give him a deal. We need that cornerback situation sorted because I'm getting tired of just all of our guys just not being like performing how they should be performing. Juwan Bentley, get him. We don't even have a left SLM maker, so we're going to try Troy Die. Hopefully, he signs with us. And we just have Jerry Tillery at right end. So we're just going to sign just a young guy to back him up. Okay. D tackle, I'm pretty happy with. Left end. Honestly, with the left end position, I think I want to draft someone. I think we're going to draft someone at the left end. Because honestly, trying to give all these guys a chance, signing them in free agency is not has not been helping us out. Like, we had to get rid of Joey Bosa because he was not performing for us. Why Davis is good center. We don't have a center. We might have to either We're probably gonna have to draft someone as well Yeah, we're gonna have to definitely draft someone as well Samuel calls me is pretty solid though, but that's not my problem. We're gonna sign Andre Dillard as a torment pectoral He's definitely gonna re He's definitely gonna sign with us Wide receivers is good fullback. We're good running back. We still have Etienne. So we're solid there. So Let's see if we get any all these guys that we went after so we got Juwan Bentley, Troy Dye, Caleb Farley, Rockison, and Andre Dillard. So it's good we addressed that. Let's advance to next week. And we got the backups. Cool. And then week four. That's nothing. So let's look at the team first. So we need to draft some ends. Definitely need to draft some ends. We need a center and a tight end. Receivers, I'm pretty happy with. So we just need to address that. D-line, we just need to draft the left end. We have Caleb Farley now, so that should be pretty good for us. 
Um, okay, so let's start drafting. We might have a really early pick. We have the eighth pick in the draft. Nice. Okay. So the eighth pick in the draft, left end is the position we needed. So let's see. Donald Dean, late first rounder. Casey Meredith, early first rounder. We're drafting you, speed rusher. Ranked number eight in true value drafting number eight. That is our new guy. So you better, you better eat for us. That's all I got to say. You better be. Now with our second pick, our second round pick, we're going to have to go if, uh, if there's any centers available. Cool, they are. So we have Joey, Joey McInnes. So we're going to draft him, 70 overall. He's going to be our guy. I'm okay with that. And then, do we have any other position we have to address? Yeah, yeah. We have, I'm going to get the tight end position. The tight end position is something we need to take a look at as well. Scouted. Tight end. There's nothing, but I did see a left outside linebacker that looked pretty high in overall. Um, and there's a cornerback as well. Do we go cornerback, though? Manual Knight. Early second rounder. Slot corner. Or do we just... Hmm... Do we go for him? Or do we go with the left? You know what? Let's go with the left. I saw him back. We're sitting here. Yeah, we, we drafted him instead. If the cornerback is still available, then we're going to definitely get Sherry, though. Is He's a late second rounder. He, yeah, late second round. So we're going to draft Lewis. Oh, and there's also Lance Molden, who's a late second rounder as well. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. Lance Molden it is. 69 overall. So that's all of the picks we make with this draft. So let's send to the end. So the draft recap now. After we drafted Molden, we ended up getting a guard, a tight end, and another guard. And so that's what we did there. We're in 2025 now. We have players returning from injury. 84 offense, 83 defense. This has to be the year we finally make the damn playoffs, yo. It's taking way too long to make the playoffs with this squad. Please let it be this season. We gotta let it be this season. <laughs> defense. We got a lot of players here a lot of players a lot of positions a lot of positions taken care of so let's see if we can do this thing man we got to do it we got to do it but let's see if we can do it let's send to the playoffs oh dude we're horrible seven and nine again i can't i can't the chargers they're cursed yo i can't i can't get more than six or seven wins with this team wow that's crazy our offense was 22nd and our defense was 26. There's nothing I could do. There's literally nothing I could do. I've changed everything. I've gotten rid of players. We got like no sacks as a team. Oh my gosh. Caleb Farley got picks though. Yeah, we're leaving at, at, off at that, guys. I'm so sorry for this lackluster Rebo. I just thought I addressed every single position, but it looks like it, looks like it doesn't matter. We ended up signing Trubisky as well. Why are you on the team? <laughs> That's crazy, yo. This is really crazy. But Britain, though, is a 76 superstar. That's a good That's a good sign. That's a good sign. But what happened to the left end? Oh, my gosh, yo. Our guys just... Our guys did nothing, man. Did nothing. Let's see who's on the injury report, too, to end off the year. Torn pectoral for Casey Meredith. Shh, yeah, charges are cursed. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. Comment down below what else you like to see on the channel. This was uh number 13, so on to number 14. Without further ado, do guys, I'll catch you in the next one. And remember, you gotta be a fiend to succeed. Peace.